Previously, I released a video clip on my channel about such a cryptocurrency as Kuzama, which is a kind of testing ground for another more popular cryptocurrency, Polkadot. And for some reason, I made a mistake, assuming that everyone knows about this project. And I don't need to go into the details of its work because of the recent hype and the growing popularity of Polkadot network. But it turned out that not everyone is acquainted with the main features of Polkadot since you commented my last video asking to tell you about it in more detail. So today I want to give you an overview of this project, analyze its technical capabilities, tokenomics as well as the future prospects of Polkadot, especially given the upcoming release of Ethereum 2.0. So let's start with some history. The idea for Polkadot was introduced in the end of 2016 by Gavin Wood, who is a co-founder of Ethereum and founder of Parity Technologies. Then, in mid-2017, there was created the Web3 Foundation that manages the project together with the Parity Technologies. In October 2017, a successful ICO was held, and at the moment, the Polkadot project is at the final stage of its development. And our coins are already actively traded on a large number of cryptocurrency exchanges and are used by stakers to earn money. The distinctive technical feature of Polkadot is that it's not just a blockchain with a single linear chain of blocks, but a complex and diverse system on the basis of which everyone can create their own blockchain and attach it to the Polkadot in just a couple of minutes. Thus, the Polkadot network provides developers of third-party Web3 applications with an extremely wide range of features that they can implement on the so-called parachains, not limited to creating simple smart contracts in the main network, as is the case with Ethereum, Tron, and many other networks. This approach is much easier to carry out rather than making a full-fledged network from scratch, because third-party developers can fully focus on the functionality of their projects when working with Polkadot, but not to think about the security of transactions, more data networks and connections with other blockchains. This is all the responsibility of the so-called relay chain, Polkadot Central Network, that ensures connections between all parachains that are part of Polkadot. In addition to the main relay chain network and many parachains, Polkadot also has specific bridges. These are specialized protocols that establish connections between the Polkadot network and other blockchains that run on their own protocols, such as Ethereum. However, there are some limitations here, because a third-party blockchain must meet a number of certain conditions in order to be connected to Polkadot. But even the very fact that Polkadot dApps can be connected to the Ethereum blockchain significantly expand the capabilities of this ecosystem. Another important technical feature of Polkadot is that this network is able to work and uptake without network hard forks. I think you can understand the advantages it gives. Just look at the Ethereum which has been struggling with the transfer to proof of stake for several years and has already made several hard works to do this, but it's still far from its end goal. Polkadot is more flexible in this regard and any changes to it can be made painlessly, especially after they are thoroughly tested in the Kuzama network, which I described in the previous video. Holders of the DOT cryptocurrency vote for making changes to the Polkadot network, because this network works without miners and all its users have the right to vote. In addition to the management function, dog coins can also bring passive income to their owners due to the NPOS consensus algorithm that is nominated proof of stake. This algorithm allows users to create their own nodes to get the right to confirm transactions or simply delegate dog coins to other nodes receiving part of the profit without any effort. As for the economy of the DOT cryptocurrency, everything is great here for Polkadot. At the moment, the DOG coin is in the top 10 of the coin market cap rating with a capitalization of more than $4 billion and daily trading volumes reaching up to a billion. DOG coins are also traded on a large number of cryptocurrency exchanges, including such top platforms as Binance, Hobby, and KuCoin. In addition to spot trading pairs, derivatives trading is also available for the DOG coin on some exchanges. This is kind of review I wanted to make. I didn't go into much technical details, but I hope you were able to catch the main points and advantages of the Polkadot cryptocurrency. For more information, please check out the links in the description. My advice is not to rush to the exchanges to buy dog coins, 
but now it's worth remembering that the Polkadot network is still under development, so investing in it can carry certain risks.